Oh, spray, oh, spray, oh, spray. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon's Delight. Man, I'm going to tell you what. A lot of times with these with these uh, matches that get built up, right, and they get so hyped up that it's like sometimes they just don't live up to the hype. This match right here between Brian Danielson and Will Ospreay lived up to the hype, man. Definitely tops, tops match of the year right now. Match of the year. Definitely match of the year right now. Um, it might not be nothing surpassing it because it's going to be hard to surpass it, you know? This, uh, this match was everything. This was a dream match for a lot of people who followed these two men's careers. Um... Especially Brian, going back with Brian Danielson, bro. Uh, th this match, this match built up to the hype, man. Totally built up to the hype. It was so good. I, 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 um, at All Out last year, I saw um, Ricky Starks and Brian Danielson, and uh, damn, man, like Brian, when you Brian Danielson is somebody watching them live is worth it. Like, Brian Danielson, like, you might not get that impact when you watch him on TV, bro. But if you go and watch his matches in person, boy, oh, boy, he is so damn good. My friend actually saw Will Ospreay in person say he's unbelievable. The aerial assassin, bro. This dude, um, I, I, I got to see Will Ospreay while he's in AEW, bro. I, I got to see him in person one day, man, because that dude, phew, that dude's unbelievable, man. But let's go over how this match went late in the match, man. Uh, my first few bit videos been really long, so I'm gonna try to make this one kind of short. Um, but let's let's go let's go to the point where they started to butt heads in the ring. I like this little spot right here, like like they did this like goats. Uh, they was button heads, and then they got to their knees and traded some strikes. Right, uh, Danielson head butted uh, Osprey repeatedly. Uh, Osprey responded with the rapid fire kicks. Danielson hit a wicked suplex, but Osprey shot right up and hit him with an elbow strike. Uh, Osprey went for the Oz cutter, uh, but Danielson blasted him with a mid uh, mid air uh, with a uh, Busaku kick. Uh, Busaku knee, my bad, y'all, uh, which is awesome. And then, like like the counter at that point of the match, because you knew both men were tired. It was like damn. Holy shit. Danielson went, went to his corner and led the yes chance from the, from his knees. Osprey went to the other corner and shot Danielson in a, with a, uh, in a sinister look while removing his elbow pad. And by the way, I got to give it a, get it up to, uh, to St. Louis. Because St. Louis was on their feet. It made it feel epic because everyone was on their feet. Uh, watching the late part of this match, man. Uh, Danielson went for uh, another Busaki knee, uh, but Osprey caught him with an elbow strike, and then Osprey performed a storm driver, and Danielson grabbed at his left shoulder, and the referee talked to the trainer. This was a nasty spot with that storm driver, man, because it looked like Danielson really hurt his neck. We're going to talk a little bit more about that after I finish up here. Osprey blasted Danielson with the hidden blade and then pinned him. And that was all she wrote for Brian Danielson in uh, almost 33 minutes. Will Osprey beats Brian Danielson, man. They could have went on another 10, match, uh, 10 minutes, bro, but it was crazy. So after the match, the trainer checked on Danielson. And, um, then two more trainers rushed to the ring while Osprey played to the crowd on the ropes. I got to give it to real Osprey's acting because he made it seem like this is a real. Like, this is a real um, injury from Danielson, right? Osprey turned and showed concern while Danielson was uh, writhing on the mat uh, in pain. And then referee raised uh, Osprey's arm. Osprey played to the crowd and then went to the back, uh, went back to checking on Danielson. So, look, 
I wasn't. It, it looked like he might. It looked like Danielson might have been selling it, but you didn't really know at the time though. Like so, when you was watching this, I'm like, damn, man. I'm like, I hope he ain't really hurt his fucking neck that badly, you know. But the good thing that I saw was that he kept on clutching his hands and moving around. So I was like, nah, he's not paralyzed at least. Um, but I was like, damn, man. That, like, <sighs> so the rumor out there also. Is that Osprey says he might not want to uh, use that move anymore, and so I don't know. I, I like I always liked his uh, Storm Driver, so I definitely do not want Osprey to get that Storm Driver up. I hope that isn't true. Maybe he can modify it a little bit because it real like if he's not careful, that that can't hurt somebody, but. He's done it so damn long, man. I don't see how he would hurt anybody with it. Um, I don't know if that was kayfabe too. Him, him, him giving up that that move by the way, because the whole situation was fake. But man, that, it was scary though. But but what a match though. What a match. What a match. Right. That that match was. That this was a gym. This was this was. I would have loved to have been in that St. Louis crowd and watched it live, being on the feet with everybody else, man. That they tore the house down, man. That that match was. It lived up to the billing. It lived up to the billing, and you can see why. See, this is why Osprey kind of made Triple H eat, eat his words because Osprey can't get. He there's not a lot of opponents that's going to give him a, a match like this, bro. In WWE. Just not too many. It's a few dudes, but it's not too many. He's got mo most of that AEW locker room can give him a good match like this. You know what I mean? Um, Will Osprey got to be in like the top two uh, as far as uh, the best in ring performers right now in the whole entire world. He got to be like top two, top two, top three. That dude could go and the reason why I say he made he made Triple H bite his knees because that that dude went hard in that ring, bro. That dude went hard in that ring, bro. That's not a lazy performer by any stretch of the imagination. You know? And that dude traveled all over the world. That dude that dude sometimes was wrestling like three or four times a week, man. Like, I, I just didn't get it, man. I think he was saucy that he didn't sign with the WWE. But, you know, this dude, Will Ospreay, man, he's, he's a classic, bro. Give me y'all thoughts, man, because like I said, I wasn't trying to make this video too long like the other videos I just did. Uh, we got to get into the women's matches next, so go on ahead and give me y'all thoughts on this. Give this video a like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching this one. After news to like. Classic.